What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It's your man, Theo Butler. And yes, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, so y'all know this is a hashtag recast T'Challa or else. Hashtag boycott Black Panther 2 video. And before we begin, shout out to my man D-Real. I did just see his video and everything. Y'all make sure y'all check him out on um, where he speaks out on Iconic. Me, I'm gonna do something different. A little different twist. Yeah. Told y'all at some point I'm gonna tell y'all how I be coming up with these different twists. Y'all gotta excuse me. My wife just palm rolled my hair. So yeah. And my hair is interlocked. So just wanted her to palm roll it because you know, be having a lot of frizzy stuff. But anyway, before we begin, y'all already know how we get down. If you don't be growing me sharing, it's Karen. So click, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. If you like it, leave a comment. If you don't like it, leave a constructive come on. Comment. Come on now. Y'all know how we do this thing. We ain't gotta agree to agree. I'm gonna say we ain't gotta agree. We can disagree. So the motivation for this video is based on a conversation that me and Daryl had yesterday. Like I said, my man D Real, be real with D Real. Y'all make sure y'all check him out. And it's also based on a conversation that was had with a, a Instagram follow, an Instagram follower. <laughs> Follows him on. So y'all see the title. How non-recasters really feel. How non-recasters really feel. So Daryl did a video in which he was talking about how people are speaking about, you know, iconic roles, how somebody portrayed it and everything like that. To be perfectly honest with you, Chadwick wasn't the first person to portray the role of T'Challa, which is a nice little segue. What I'm about to say is probably going to make some people uncomfortable. Folders in my cup. I know it's a little late in the day for it, but it is what it is. Y'all, y'all know by now that that mug is a symbol. People who say they don't want to child recast, they say I can't see anyone else besides Shabby folks. I can't see anyone else I got a question because this goes a long way into your mindset and this is where you have to be uh, open minded see I have a group on Facebook called the Council of Wakanda and one of the first things I say is come into the group open minded be willing to learn and be prepared to be wrong in our group, it's not about being right. It's about being accurate. So, let's break down the non-recasters. And if you're a non-recaster, what I'm about to say is going to hit home. You're not going to like what I'm getting ready to say, but you're going to be like, damn. I'm going to start it off with a question. Why did you go see Black Panther? Did you go to see the character T'Challa or did you go to see Chadwick Boseman? The people who are for the character being recast went to go see the character. I.e. Chadwick Boseman could have played T'Challa in Captain America Civil War and it could have been a whole different actor by the time the movie came out. People that love the character were still going to go see that movie. <laughs> you don't want the child to recast because you love the actor. There's nothing wrong with you loving the actor. But the actor and the character aren't the same. How so, Theo? Let's go. <laughs> you don't want T'Challa recast. What did you know about T'Challa before the movie? I think that's a fair question. Before you went to the movie, what knowledge of the character did you take to the movie? 
I know what knowledge the people who want to child recast took to the movie. I know what knowledge the people who want to child recast have learned after the movie. But before I get to after the movie, what awareness of T'Challa did you take with you to the movie? I'll tell you what I took. See, if you know this, it's valuable. It matters. Did you know that the character T'Challa was created before the Black Panther Party came into existence? He did. You know there's no relation between the two? None. Two Caucasian men created that character before the brothers and sisters created the organization. I can't even, I, I don't understand why racists get in their feelings when somebody comes to comes to class or walks around them at a job with a Black Panther shirt. Somebody that looked like you <laughs> created the damn character. <laughs> But did you know that? Before you walked into the movie theater, did you know that? Did you know that because of the social backlash that Marvel was receiving for the character T'Challa being named a Black Panther, for a brief period of time, they renamed him the Cold Tiger? That matters. That matters. You should think about that when they inevitably introduce Casper Cole. Cole Tiger, Casper Cole. <sighs> Do you even know who Casper Cole is, though? Eh, that's, that's asking too much. That's asking too much. That's ask, and I, you should actually be able to pick that up because that's Christopher Priest. Do you even know who that is? Do you care? Because if you just care about Chadwick Boseman, there's a lot of things that we can do about Chadwick Boseman that have nothing to do with this character. Chadwick Boseman, I, man, I can tell you, they got all his movies on Netflix right now. Yes, good God Almighty Jesus. Go and check them things on out. They got them all over there. I Like I said, me personally, I love Message from the King. Good God Almighty Jesus. But y'all go and check them out, though. They over there. Have you watched them? Have you bought the DVDs featuring the Blu-rays of Chadwick Boseman? Have you? No, I'm putting too much stank on it. Okay, let me go back to T'Challa. <laughs> Did you know for a brief period, just in case Marvel did well, they're killing off the character, so they won't do that. But did you know that for a brief period, he didn't have a whole mask? You could see part of his face. You know why? Because they weren't sure, Marvel wasn't sure how the people in the South were going to receive a black superhero. So, they covered his face back up. <laughs> they did. That's good stuff. I know, I actually read them books. I actually own them. I fell in love with the character. Way before the actor was even thought of. I did. And there's quite a few of us that fell in love with that character before the actor was even thought of. That character meant something to us way before the actor was thought of. Do you know that T'Challa took on the KKK? Black man taking on the KKK. Y'all know that? Wow. It's a powerful statement. Took on the KKK right here in America. A black man. Who? What other black men do we know have stood up to the KKK? Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Mecca Evers. Good God Almighty. We could keep going down. Book T. Washington. Yeah. We could go. There's a whole litany of them. We could go down the list. We could. And T'Challa did it as a fictitious character. Way before Chadwick Boseman was thought of. That's why quite a few of us went to go see the movie. We didn't go for Chadwick Boseman. He was the icing on the cake. But I've tasted cakes before that taste nasty as hell. Regardless of how damn good that icing tastes. 
we went to go see T'Challa. We went to go see his story play out on the screen. Because we had been waiting. While the world passed by and gave us, I don't know how many Bruce Waynes, I don't know how many Clark Kents, I don't know how many Iron Man, uh, Tony Starks, because that Robert Downey Jr. is not the first Tony Stark. That is not the first Stephen Strange. We know Tom Holland is not the first Spider-Man. The Fantastic Four that we got is not the first Fantastic Four that we got. This is actually going to be the fourth iteration of the Fantastic Four. We got all that. People that look like me wanted T'Challa. Did y'all know that Wesley Snipes and L.O. Cool J, James Todd Smith, tried to get Marvel to bring T'Challa to the big screen? And do you know Marvel told Wesley Snipes you got to do Blade 3 and then we'll talk about it. Do you know that even even Jamie Foxx wanted to do Black Panther? Before we got Chadwick Boseman. And each and every time, you know what Black Panther fans wanted? We wanted to care. We didn't care who the actor was. Well, he did, but as long as the actor could act, So when you say you can't see anybody else playing T'Challa, what you're really saying is you don't know the character and you don't care about the character. You don't love the character. You love the actor. And that's fine. You can love the actor. You can actually do both. You can love the actor and be on board with the character getting recast. If you're oblivious to the fact that that character means a lot to black boys, boys of color, if you don't care when you see a video of boys crying because they think that character actually died when it was the actor who died, if you don't care, I'm not going to get in the name calling, but if you don't care, the people who want T'Challa recast, who are going to get T'Challa recast. Let's be clear. We're going to get T'Challa recast. We don't care about your feelings either. You really are insensitive. You really don't care about this character like you claim you do. You don't love this character like you claim you do. You don't even know this character. You're a lot of talk. And you love Chadwick Boseman. You should. But stop acting like you love Black Panther, T'Challa. When you, honestly, if you look in the mirror and have a conversation with yourself, you don't know anything about T'Challa. I ain't saying it. I'm just saying. Peace.